couple times, huh? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Ingrid. Ingrid? Nice to meet you. I'm Shelby. Um, what's something that we can pray with you about today? You got a minute? I know you're working, yeah, but... Not my daughter. She's yeah. going through some problems. Is she okay? Yep. Um, I'd love to write this down so that I can just continue to pray for you. Um, what's your daughter's name? Amber. Amber? And anything specific that she's been going through? Some problems, right some problems. Okay, just life in general. Yeah. Okay, and um, your name is Ingrid. Yeah. Ingrid. Is there anything else, Ingrid, that I can pray with you about? No? Okay. Well, Ingrid, um, I'm going to pray with you about that today for your daughter. Um, but before we do that, I'd love to ask you if you don't mind answering this question. We're going to be praying in Jesus' name. Who is Jesus to you? Son of God. The Son of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he is. Um, well, let me put it in a different way. If you, we all die, right? Yeah. Well, one day you're going to stand before God. And if he were to, to ask you, Ingrid, give me one good reason why I should let you into heaven. God, I'm a Christian and I try to do this. You're a good okay. person. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit about Jesus, okay? God, in, in the Bible, it says that he created us to have a personal relationship with him. And he created us in his image. And he also created us to have a specific purpose for, that is fitted specifically for us. Okay? And, but the thing is, sin separates us from God. Yeah. And you know what sin is? Just, uh, yeah. you know, breaking the commandments. Everybody does it. You know, lies, whatever it may be. And that separates us from, from the Lord. But the cool thing about it is that Jesus came, God gave his only son, and Jesus died on the cross for our sins to save us. And if we accept him into our hearts, we can have a new life, and we can, he can be with us each and every day, and we can, go, we, can, we can accept him as our heavenly father, and we'll never be alone again. And that, yes, we may, we may stumble, we may fall, we may make mistakes, but if we follow after him, we'll go to heaven. When we get up, you know, into when God asked us, it's like, well, Lord, I made mistakes, but I followed after you. And he can be your heavenly father. And he can also be your daughter's heavenly father. So would you like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? Well, Ingrid, um, I, I'm definitely going to pray with you, but I would love for you to also pray and just, it, it doesn't matter really, you don't have to use any, you know, fancy words or anything, but just ask the Lord, just talk to him and just say, Lord, I want you to be my father and I want to start having a personal relationship with you. Would you like to do that? Okay. okay. And then, and then right after I'll pray for you and your walk with God and your daughter that she may be, you know, come to know, come to know him as well. Okay. So we'll just hold hands. Dear Lord, I'm here today and I want you to be my personal savior in Jesus and Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for Ingrid right now, God. Jesus, we thank you, Father, that she has come to know you, Lord, and that she has such a willing heart, Lord God, to serve you, Lord Jesus, Father, and to become, Jesus, your servant, Lord Jesus, and to walk with you, God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for her precious life, Lord God. Father, we pray, Jesus, that right after today, Lord Jesus, that she will begin to dig into your word, Lord God, to read about you, Lord God, to know more about you, Lord Jesus, to spend time with you, God, and that you'll speak to her, Lord Father. Jesus, we pray now for Amber, her daughter, Lord. We pray, Jesus, that she will come to know you as well, Lord God, just as her mom has come to know you today, Lord. Father, whatever's going on in her life, you know the situation. You know exactly what Amber needs, Lord Jesus. And we pray, God, that you will send someone into her life, even if it's her, her mom, Ingrid, Lord God, to speak to her about you, Jesus. Send her, Lord God, Father, just peace, Lord God, that surpasses all understanding, Father. We thank you, Father, for Ingrid again, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Ingrid, I'm so thankful for you. Now, do you have a Bible? This is your tool. This is going to tell you all about Jesus and all about how wonderful he is. Um, 
Now, what, this is the New Testament, and it starts in Matthew, and basically it starts telling you when Jesus was here on earth and what he did and the things that he said, and it's who, who you serve now. So you take that, um, and I'd love to just give you, now you can go to prayerstop.org okay. and you can ask questions, you can post something on there like um, about your daughter to you know, have people all around the world to pray for your daughter and for you, whatever it may be. Um, I'd love to give you just my name and my email. Um,